So if you ever wanted to go ahead and copy one folder from your MacBook to some kind of external hard drive, then this is the video right for you because here, I'll be showing you exactly how you can use it and basically get it to work. First of all, get your external hard drive ready, preferably. It should be the SSD just so the transfer speed will be faster. But of course, any hard drive will work. Then you need to figure out your port situation. So make sure you have the proper cable to connect your hard drive. MacBooks are usually equipped with just the USB-C, so make sure you have the right cable, as I said. Once you're connected, then on the MacBook, just open up the Finder app. Basically, get inside any folder on your desktop to activate the Finder app. And on the left side, in the sidebar, you should be able to see the external hard drive connected. It should show up there in the location section. If you can't see it, try to expand the section to make it show up. If you cannot even see the location section, then click on the Finder title in the upper left corner of the screen. It's right there at the top, next to the Apple logo, so click on it, then tap Preferences and proceed by clicking on the sidebar. And as you are in that section, what you want to do is to make sure the hard drives and external disks are checked. Make sure they are enabled like this, because if they're not, then you won't even find the SSD in your Finder folder. If you have done all of this and you still can't see the SSD being connected, then try to disconnect it and then plug it in one more time. It's just like a reset of the connection and sometimes it just happens that the external disk doesn't get recognized. Now, finally, once everything is set up properly, what you wanna do is to create a new folder window. Go on your keyboard, click Command plus N. This will make new window pop up. So now, inside the first window, locate the folder you want to transfer or copy from your MacBook to the external disk. And in the other window, just open up the external drive and find the place where you want to put the folder. From now on, it's pretty simple because all you have to do now is to simply drag the folder from your MacBook all the way to the SSD and it'll be copied. Don't worry. Since it's on the external location, dragging it over will not move the folder, it will just copy it. And all you have to do now is to just wait until the process is finished. Naturally, besides just dragging the folder over, you may as well just right click the folder, press copy, then write in the destination folder and click paste. Which would of course do the very same thing, but I'm just showing you how exactly you I would do it because I think it's the best way to go about it. Okay, but there are also some pretty important things to know about this. This may be kind of obvious, but make sure that the external hard drive has enough space to store the folder you want to copy. Check the available space on the external hard drive before starting the transfer. Otherwise, it won't even allow you to proceed with the process. Also, it's a good idea to format the external hard drive. It ensures that the files are stored in a manner that is easy to read and write on the device without causing any compatibility issues. Choosing the right file system is crucial as it can have a significant impact on the device's performance and compatibility with different operating systems. The most common file system for external hard drives is XFAT, as it offers compatibility with both Mac and Windows operating systems, making it a suitable choice for those who use both systems. So that's my recommendation, but I'd say to first try if the copying works and if you have a problem or the files cannot be read, then fiddle with the formatting. There are some other apparent things to do, like seeing if there aren't any duplicate files in the folder that you're copying or even in the destination folder, making sure not to disconnect the external drive before the copying process will be finished, and also make sure that you somehow organize your files so you'll be able to find them easily in the future. But when you keep all of this in your mind, I believe that you'll be more than happy when copying folders from your Mac. I really hope you found this video helpful and informative. For more videos like this one, make sure to stay tuned. And to do that, just subscribe to the Foxtech YouTube channel. Also, if you want to, go ahead and take a look at this next video you can see on the screen right now. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the future. Peace.